name of Almighty Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. As Muhammad peace be upon him narrated, if any man travels on a road in search of knowledge, Almighty Allah will cause him to travel on one of the roads of paradise. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Tarin Su. Thank you very much for watching my videos and your wonderful support to make this channel a grand success. We are family, a partner. Please share and subscribe our channel if you haven't done so far. We as a team can work together to convert challenges into opportunities and opportunities into success stories. These success stories can be monetized into value addition in the world by large. Thank you very much for your precious time. Today I am going to discuss my lecture number 2 on normal operation of FCC unit. Before my lecture I used to read a Quranic verse. Kala Rabbi Shrali Sadri Waja Sarli Amri Wahlalu Okhdatam Milli Sani Yaf Kahu Kawali Allahumma Rabbi Zadni Ilma Oh my Lord open my chest and ease my task for me and lose or not from my tongue that they may understand my saying. Allahumma Rabbi Zadni Ilma O oh Allah advance me in my knowledge and true understanding. Okay. Fluid catalytic cracking, lecture number a two, a normal operation of the fluid catalytic cracking unit. Okay, key takeaway points, lecture number two or FCC unit normal operation. In my early lecture, we have discussed a process control guidelines. Today, I'm going to discuss a reactive and originator heat balance. On later stage, we will discuss conversion, gasoline selectivity, C3 and C4 recovery, off spec handling, slope handling, set point list of our main process units. Okay, abscess unit operations, reactor and regenerator heat balance. Burning coke in the regenerator provides all the heat necessary for the operation of the unit, yet roughly 30 to 40% of the heat generated by the combustion of the coke exits the regenerator in the form of hot flue gases. The remainder is absorbed by the regenerator catalyst which carries it to the reactor risers where it is used to vaporize and heat up the combined of it to the desired cracking temperature. The amount of energy associated with the unit's operations are determined from a catalyst section heat balance. The energy balance equation at steady state may be written as number one energy in plus energy produced is equal to energy out plus energy consumed. This is my equation number one. Okay. Regenerator energy balance. Number one, energy in is equal to energy, heat plus spent catalyst plus coke. Number two, energy produced is equal to combustion heat coke. Number three, energy out is equal to energy, flue gas plus regenerated catalyst plus removed plus radiation losses. Number four, energy consumed is equal to zero. Okay, if the regenerator temperature is the reference temperature, then minus a delta H or delta heat air minus a delta heat spent catalyst minus delta heat a coke a plus delta heat combustion of coke is equal to delta H heat removed plus delta H radiation losses or we can also write in other form delta H spent catalyst is equal to delta H combustion of coke minus delta H coke minus delta air minus delta H removed minus delta H losses that is my equation number two delta H many differential of the heat being produced or consumed. Okay, reactor energy balance. Okay, reactor energy balance. Energy in is equal to energy feed plus regenerated catalyst plus dilons. Number two, energy produced is equal to zero. Energy out is equal to energy reactor vapors plus spent catalyst plus radiation losses. Number four, energy consumed is equal to heat of reaction. If the reactor temperature is the reference a base temperature, then minus a delta H feed minus delta H dilutes plus delta H regenerated catalyst is equal to delta H radiation losses plus heat of reaction. Or in other form, 
delta H regenerated cactus is equal to delta H feed plus delta H dilutes plus delta H radiation losses plus heat of reaction. That is my equation number three. Okay. Reactor regenerator heat balance. The enthalpy change for the spent and regenerated cactus is given by number one. Delta H spent cactus is equal to mass flow Cp that is that demonstrate Rg temperature minus Rx temperature. Regenerated temperature and reaction temperature or reactor temperature. Number two. Delta H regenerated cactus is equal to mass flow Cp is reaction temperature, reactor temperature minus regenerated temperatures at steady state conditions. Delta H spent cactus plus delta H regenerated cactus is equal to zero. By combining equation number two, three and six, delta H combustion of coke is equal to delta H air plus delta H coke plus delta H removed plus delta H regenerated radiation losses plus a delta H feed plus delta H dilutes plus delta H reactor radiation losses and heat of reaction. That is equation number seven. The equation number seven demonstrates that all the energy in the reactor regenerator system is provided by the combustion of coke. The radiation loss terms in this equation is not a major item, but since vessel insulation is not perfect, some radiation losses do occur. The term delta H removed refers to the heat duty of the catalyst cooler. The heat of reaction is the energy required to convert the feed to product via the catalyst reaction mechanism. Okay. The heat produced by the combustion of coke in equation number 7 can be calculated from the coke product rate and mode of the regeneration operation. If all the CO carbon monoxide was burned to a CO2 carbon dioxide in regenerator, more heat would be available per pound of carbon than when the unit runs in this normal or partial combustion mode. The heat liberated up by the carbon combustion to CO2 is 7860 kilocalorie per kg carbon whereas heat for combustion to CO is only 2200 kilocalorie per kg. The heat of reaction is endothermic energy is consumed by the reaction which breaks the heavy hydrocarbons molecules into smaller light hydrocarbon products. The heat of reaction must be calculated from the energy balance using equation number 7. The most important value that can be calculated from the energy balance is the catalyst oil weight ratio. This ratio is important because it is a major factor in hydrocarbon conversions and coke later. Okay, reactor and regenerate heat balance, process conditions. This heat balance is for the 202.5 meter cube per hour feed case with the FCC unit in total combustion mode. The process conditions are reactor 521 degree C, combined feed 191 degree C, lift gas 38 degree C, lift steam 193 degree Celsius temperatures, a feed steam 193 steeping steam temperatures 193 degrees celsius regenerator catalyst 744 degrees celsius flue gases 742 c average hottest regenerator 742 degree celsius okay okay air blow discharge 204 degrees celsius hp blower feed water 104 degrees celsius catalyst cooler steam 239 degree Celsius. Okay, process condition. Pressure. Catalyst cooler steam pressure must be maintained 31 bar. Flow rate. Fresh feed no recycle 187,000 kg per hour. Lift gas 1,474. Lift steam 5,851. Feed steam 816. Stipping steam 2268 kg per hour, a total air to regenerator 
172,000 kg per hour catastrophic cooler steam, 25,000 catastrophic cooler blow down, 3,153 kg per hour. Total air includes equal to air to combustor, air to upper regenerator, and air to catastrophic cooler. Okay. The flue gas compositions a mole percent CO carbon monoxide will be a 0.0 as per the GC method carbon dioxide 15.5 oxygen plus argon 3.47 nitrogen 81.02 a mole percent sulfur dioxide SO2 0.0, .0 and NO2 nitrogen peroxide 0.0 okay next is a flue gas combustion adjustment okay flue gas composition adjustment unlike an ost analysis a gc analysis includes argon with the oxygen the first step is to adjust the flue gas o2 content for argon ar the ar content the argon content is assumed to be 1 0.2 mole percent of the nitrogen therefore argon 0.012 times 81.02 is equal to 0.97 mole percent the corrected analysis now carbon monoxide is 0 co2 15.5 mole percent oxygen is equal to 3.47 a minus a 0.97 is equal to 2.5 mole percent Nitrogen plus argon is equal to 81.03 plus a 0.97 is equal to 82 mole percent. SO2 carbon dioxide is equal to 0 and nitrogen peroxide is equal to 0. Okay. Abscission normal operations combustion air corrected to a dry basis. A physiometric chart is used to determine the moisture content of the region regeneration air at atmospheric conditions of 17 degrees celsius and relative humidity 97 percent the moisture content is overall moisture content is equal to 0 0.011 kg water per kg dry air okay wet air 172,456 kg per hour how much water content in the 172,000 wet air? We will calculate. Number one, dry air is equal to 172,456 kg per hour wet air times by 1 kg dry air divided by 1 plus a 0 0.01152 kg wet air is equal to 170,000 kg per hour. Okay. If we take away 170,000 from 172,456 kg per hour equal to 1,964 kg hour wet or moisture content in the wet air. Okay. My next topic is to calculate a flue gas rate. Okay. The flue gas rate can be calculated from the regeneration air rate. These two streams are related by the inert that is nitrogen plus argon content which remains constant through the catastrophic regeneration from our nitrogen balance. Since moles is equal to weight per molecules weight then dry air is equal to 170,000 which we calculated in my last slide 492 kg per hour divided by 28.966 molecular weight is equal to 5,886 kg mole per hour. Mole per hour nitrogen plus argon in a dry air is equal to a mole per hour nitrogen plus argon in flue gases. Okay, 5,886 kg mole per hour times by 79 kg mole inerts divided by 100 kg mole air is equal to kg mole per hour fg flue gases times by 82 kg mole inert gases divided by 100 mole fg 
So the flue gases is equal to 5671 kg mole per hour will be calculated how much flue gas rate is required. Okay, next is calculate the carbon C contents of the coke. Okay, calculate the carbon C content of coke. The carbon content of the coke is calculated from the flue gas composition. One mole of C is burned for each mole of carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide being produced. Okay, carbon plus oxygen plus hydrogen plus sulfur plus nitrogen is equal to carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide plus H2O molecules plus sulfur dioxide plus nitrogen peroxide plus O2 oxygen content. So C will be a 5671 kg per mole hour Fg times by 0 kg mole a carbon monoxide plus 15.503 kg mole carbon dioxide divided by 100 kg mole flue gases times by 1 kg mole of carbon of the mole of CO and carbon monoxide. So the C will be 879 kg mole per hour of carbon being burnt or during a coke operation. Okay. Next is the calculate the hydrogen content of the coke. Okay, it will be discussed in my next lecture. Conclusion. Conclusion. We have discussed reactor and regenerator heat palace, flue gas composition adjustment. Calculate a carbon content, combustion air corrected to a dry basis, calculate flue gases rate. Okay, my next topic will be reactor regenerated heat balance is still going on and later on conversion. Okay, these are a few references Qatar Petroleum, OGDC Pakistan, World Energy Outlook, US Geological Survey. U.S. Department of Energy, Schellenbergers, International Energy Agency, IEA, Wikipedia, Oklahoma State Margin Well Combustions Pumpers Manual, State Oil Fact Sheet, Norger, Prox Standards of the Norway, The Story of Oil in Pennsylvania, Air, Liquid and Gas Encyclopedia, National gas of from wellhead to burner. Okay. Together everyone achieve more. Please do not hesitate. Send me your feedback. Thank you very much and stay blessed.